Hey there everybody, it's Russ. Today I'm gonna to do a solo adventure here in Seattle. I'm gonna take the ferry to uh, Bainbridge Island and we're gonna ride around the island and hopefully I will not get too lost. I'm also gonna be riding this new Kona slash Swift bike with the uh, Shimano GRX group set. So let's get going, hopefully I don't get too lost. I made my way down to the ferry terminal, uh, bought a ticket and I'm queuing up as a cyclist and we're all gonna board the ferry to Bainbridge. I think that might be our ferry that we're gonna board on, not exactly sure. Um, I'm glad there is one other cyclist here so I'm just gonna follow what he does. But it's cool, they've got uh, bike specific lanes and I think we board before the cars. All right, looks like we're gonna get on. I'm just gonna follow these guys. <laughs> so there isn't super specific bike facilities. Uh, so that guy just put his bike on the railing and I followed him, so that's what I'm gonna do as well. I did lock up the front wheel since this is a loner bike and I'd feel, feel bad if it walked out somehow. I mean, I doubt it would happen, but just in case. So uh, now just find the seat. Okay, let's take a look around. In lockers on the sun deck. All right, so we're getting close. I'm gonna get the bike ready and you boat. See what happens. A lot more cars here. Alright, getting close. I might put this away for a second until I get up and over this little uh, hump here. I'm off the ferry. And I was about to start the ride, but then I remembered that there was a cafe that was, that was supposed to be pretty good in town, so I'm gonna stop there first. Must grab some pastries. So the ferry was actually pretty fun. Uh, pretty easy to get on and off. Wish they had a little bit better bike facility, but otherwise not too bad. Uh, overall, the trip took about 40 minutes from Seattle to get to Bainbridge. We definitely budget that in. And uh, here's a really cool classic bike shop that I'm gonna try to stop at afterwards. Supposed to have lots of uh, really cool vintage bikes there. Found the bakery. Pastries accomplished. Picked up a cherry hand pie and a french roll. So hopefully this will get me at least part of the ride. Don't know where to put it. Okay, so enough fasting about. Time to start the ride. I'm doing the chilly hilly route, which is uh, about 30 or so miles, 3,000 feet of climbing. So we'll get some elevation in today. And this should be a good test for this bike. Already I'm out of breath, starting to climb. Okay, so, so far, pretty chill neighborhood roads, seems like. Very little traffic. And uh, I think Bainbridge generally has the reputation of being a good place to ride a bike. So, so far so good. Not flat though. <laughs> okay, so just pulled off real quick. Man, it is really pretty right here right now. Sun's coming out, it's low tide, smells like shellfish. You can see Seattle uh, across the water here. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty good day. So far, uh, pretty epic. So there's Seattle out of there, low tide. Man, good stuff. Leaving the water and back to the hills. Turn too soon back there. <laughs> it's like the third time it's happened. I'm gonna get like so much extra credit climbing. Such a nice little sitting bench. I think I will take advantage of it. This is cool. I don't know if there's like a small little bus system on the island, but nice place to wait. I think I will dive into one of the snacks. <sighs> nice little stop for a pastry stop. Uh, my impression so far is uh, it's actually pretty good road riding. Uh, it's hilly and that makes it kind of interesting. The roads aren't just like flat and boring. It's really green right now. You're definitely under a canopy of trees. Traffic uh, is pretty light and the traffic so far has been pretty good about passing safely, which is nice. So I would recommend it. 
so far. We'll see how it how it gets. Uh, if there is one thing, I wish there was kind of more uh, views of the water on this route. Kind of feels like you're rolling through a really quiet neighborhood in Seattle at the moment. I did love that one stretch where we could look across um, the sound or the water and see and see Seattle. Hopefully, we'll get more views like that later on. Onwards and upwards. <laughs> And the giant creepy frog. So there's that cool little bay back there. Uh, saw some risers. <laughs> One good word to describe the climbs here is punchy. I mean, they descend like a demon and then just like punch you in the gut. Like this one that's coming up. I will say I'm glad for the wide range double of the GRX here. 11%, 13%. This is like Vuelta style grades. <laughs> 12, 13. What was there? Oh yeah. Okay, found another park. Another perfect pastry stop. This time I'm going into the cherry hand pie. And of the two, this is a good one. Pro tip, get this one for sure. We're about halfway through the ride and have climbed 1,200 feet. I do have to say I really appreciate the wide range double. It does make these uh, super punchy climbs a little bit easier. I would nickname this island Pain Bridge if you're not into climbing. But uh, overall the bike's handling pretty well. It's a good like shakedown ride to get familiar with it. Uh, for this weekend. I'm definitely going to do a review of this bike after a couple of day rides and after the trip with Swift. So finish the pastry and finish the ride. All right, about mile 20. I'm going to lop off a little bit of this route. It just looked like it went up a stupid steep hill. Uh, so I'm shortening it a little bit, so let's head back to the start. I mean, I love a stupid hill as much as the next guy, but I feel like I've ridden uh, enough of them for the day. <laughs> okay, so still more hills, even though I cut out that one hill. <laughs> last half, last couple miles around Port Blakely. Uh, not too fun, a little bit more traffic, but this road's super cool. Really narrow, no traffic and windy, but steep. <laughs> Really steep. So glad that the sun decided to come out today and I didn't have to ride all this in the rain. Also, did I mention that the wide range double in the GRX is awesome? Thanks for listening, Shimano. It only took decades for them to finally get there. And uh, if this gravel thing is what made it happen, then I'm cool with that. <laughs> all right, so wrapped up the ride. Turned out to be about 27 miles, 2200 feet of climbing even uh, lopping off that little bit. I was gonna hang out in town and uh, check out the bike shop, but the ferry is just about to arrive and I've got other things I wanna do today. So I think I'm gonna unfortunately skip that. So thanks for watching this uh, ride. Look for a future review of the Kona Rove. Uh, sorry I didn't squeeze it in this one. And as always, keep the supple side down.